Alright, alright, welcome back. You're gonna see a little gameplay. I am the Cowboys, of course, and he pitches to the halfback, and I haven't had that type of pitch ran against me yet. Uh, I guess it's in the Cardinals' offensive playbook. But anyway, this isn't about the gameplay. This is about a fantastic way to run the play from the dollar formation called Spinner. Now coming up, we are going to be using it right here. And we're using it more or less as a blitz with a purple zone on the right. And we shut him down. Now we're putting more zones on the field. And we sack him. This is the best all-around play because it could be a pass coverage play or it could be an all-out blitz. We take this dude to 4th and 24 and he goes for it. And we sack him. This dollar blitz is phenomenal because it's an all-out blitz that we can quickly make into a coverage play. We're going to show you what adjustments to make, when to put zones on the field, what zones to put on the field. Because that is my go-to play. It's it's spinner. It's in the tournament style defensive ebook. What has that has 205 defensive plays. That's 15 bucks, but you can get 20% off by using the code BEATME20, lowercase letters, one word, and you get 20% off. One word. Ezekiel Elliott is a beast. And coming up, we're going to show you how good Spinner is. Shut my dude down. But here, look at him. Look at Mr. Johnson run wild on me. I, I was disappointed. I had no flats on there, so David Johnson just went nuts. Made me look foolish. But I returned the favor there. Ezekiel made him look like a dope. So, uh, strong power. Look at that. Pistol bunch tight end. Nice gain, Zeke, baby. This dude, uh, nobody has really stopped my running game yet with the triple option and the strong power and look at this this is back to the triple option again and for some reason i went to dive and he, I, I slowed up so he was able to tackle me but i get in there with alfred morris anyway here we go so i switch up the defense i go to the tampa two with qb contains and i almost intercept the qb screen so he connects to larry fitzgerald and we shut him down slow game look at this we sack and we get block shed sacks and make it fourth and ten and we just switched up the defense we blitzed at him now we threw a little coverage at him and he's putting johnson out wide and he just floats it up like that and he connects but there's really 10 seconds left not a big deal he's now we lock up the coverage and he had to throw it away. So, same thing, locked up coverage. He's just chucking it wild. Look at the deep middle. There was three people there. Usually that's open on Tampa 2, and this dude just gives up and runs a draw. So my ball, and I'm up by a touchdown, which, that's great. I mean, this dude quits. He quits. He knew he had zero answers when I went into that Tampa 2 plus when I coupled it with that dollar defense he had no answers for any of that so he quits do you remember these plays from the gameplay look at how dominant this defense is well you're about to get the play you're about to get the setups and all the adjustments okay now we are going over a fantastic blitz this is the blitz that I'm using right now as we speak it's from the dollar three two six and it's spinner and it looks like an all-out blitz but we'll get into that and <clears throat> the only thing this is a little weak against the run so maybe if you want to even though it looks like an all-out blitz if you want to just do this against passing situations but this is a phenomenal phenomenal play and I'll just show it to you whatever this don't matter even with a blocked running back so what you want to do to set this up, first, just as soon as they break the huddle, just baseline. Then you could slant the defense line to the left. And now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sick, so you have to excuse me. 
zonal linebackers, which is right on the D-pad, up on the right stick. And right now, it's a five-man blitz. You could keep it like this, and if you want to adjust the coverages to where whatever side there's more receivers, put that linebacker on a purple zone, and then user control the other guy. Keep him on a hook curl and just user control him. Or if you want to put him in a middle third, whatever. And nobody will be open, especially everybody's covered. Everybody's manly. Everybody's man covered, baseline. Wire triangle right in the D-pad. Slant the D-line to the left. Left on the D-pad, left on the right stick. Zone all linebackers. Right on the D-pad, up on the right stick. And then since there's more receivers to the left, put this left middle linebacker in a purple zone. This will also help with C routes and <clears throat> long out routes. And then either put him in a middle blue or yellow zone and user control this guy. Now, everybody's man covered. Everybody's covered. You're just the X factor. And while the blitz is coming in, you're gonna cover who looks like their first read or who was open. Maybe stick with the tight end at first. Go back over the middle. So he's going to hesitate and the blitz is going to get in because nobody's open. Base align as soon as you break the huddle. Slant the D-line to the left. Zone all linebackers. Those three things are super easy. Now, you can press the defense. You don't have to. Put him in a purple zone. Move him out a little bit if you want user control him now if if you see that they're doing quick out routes or quick slants even though uh, it's gonna be hard for them to complete a pass use your coverage adjustments by pressing Y or triangle that brings the coverage adjustments and either do right stick to the left or to the right which is inside or outside so whatever they're doing they're doing slants to inside which in this case it's slants and nobody is open nobody's open now you can do everything do everything like this and then put him on a flat and only send four that's what makes this defense so good because everybody's still covered you got a hybrid man slash zone coverage on the field so who will be open here nobody's really open so he's going to hesitate and the blitz is going to come in even the four-man blitz version will come in oh, why did he just go over there oh, if that happens that's good because watch nobody's open and the coverage on the field is fantastic Baseline, shift the defensive line to the left. Zone all linebackers. Keep it like this. Keep the five man blitz. Really, he's not going to be able to run away from this either. If you want, put. Press L1 twice, triangle, put him in a QB spy. You can keep the two hook zones, whatever, whatever zones you want to put these guys in, that's up to you and you use your control, the other one. Who's open? Who can he throw to here? Nobody. So baseline, slant the D line to the left, zone all linebackers, and if you want, put the DT in a QB spy. Now, this is a four-man blitz. Look at the coverage. Eventually, somebody will get in. He's not going to be able to scramble. That's why this has been a dominating blitz for me. It's the dollar three, two, six spinner. I know you guys are going to enjoy this too. And if you want, just baseline slant the D-line to the left and just leave it an all-out blitz. You could do that too. So baseline, slant the D-line to the left, and maybe if they're doing slants, do the coverage adjustments inside. 
and the blitz will get him. You know, if he threw to the right person, it'll be open. But every now and then, and look, they're going to see that you're in spinner, and it looks like an all-out blitz. Now, once you, you know, from the previous play, so that's what makes this even better because you're going to come out and only send four or five, and nobody's going to be open. You see what I you, you know what I'm getting at? So this is a very confusing defense your, to your opponent. The uh, setups will be in the description. But again, the setups are all what, how you want to do it. What, what types of situations your defensive is in. Or what your opponent likes to do. So if he throws, likes to throw big C routes, you know, move him out and put him in the purple zone. <clears throat> Whatever. The zones you put these two guys in, and maybe even him, this is going to dictate by what your opponent likes to do. Nobody will be open. If you want, you could play hard flats by the linebackers. And this is a little tricky, so you got to know your quick adjustments. You, you set it up however you want. Then you could put both of these linebackers in purple zones then play underneath coverage which is wire triangle down on the right stick now you got the two linebackers in hard flats and then if you want to put the blitz and cornerbacks in yellow zones you could do something like this and then you have everything kind of bottled up and don't pay attention too much about the offensive play I'm just showing you what you could do on the defensive play with this point with this dollar formation spinner play and then if you want your zone all linebackers which you do right on the d-pad up on the right stick and then you could put the two blitz and cornerbacks in hard flats and only send the three linemen and you got great coverage I mean, everything is covered. The whole part of the field is covered. So this is a fast blitz that you could turn into a great coverage play. Thank you guys for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to us. I'm JP Storm.